Hello viewers, Wagada Ronald taking you through this tutorial for all level mathematics and this video I'm going to talk about a topic called pie charts and uh, statistics. Now this topic is based for students in senior 2 so if you know of any student in senior 2 who is not entering this platform please share the link of this video so that you can also benefit. So pie charts are used to display proportions, fractions, or percentages of data using a circle. So because they use a circle, they are sometimes called circle graphs. So the circle is portioned into sectors. Now there are sectors, each representing different interior frequencies, or percentages, or fraction that is used to find the angle of each sector portioned in the circle. For example, this is now figure one. Figure one shows it is a pie chart showing the courses studied by students in a certain business college. So now this one, I think, I say that each course has been portioned into is into a sector. So towards the Mazi Son sector, catering has its own sector, and accountancy has its own sector, and also marketing has its own sector. So the magnitude of this angle is proportional to the number of students in that course. For example, if you see here, 150 is, the angle of 150 is greater than the angle of 50. That means that the number of students in accountancy are more than the number of students in tourism. Also, if you look at this, 40 degrees is smaller than 150 degrees, meaning the number of students in catering are fewer than the number of students in tourism. So that is a pie chart so the the sector the angle of each sector is proportional to the number of students so sometimes they can give you um, the amount or the quantities for example this is an item a table having item and the quantity item and the quantity item and the quantity item and the quantity so in the, and they tell you to draw a pie chart for this data so in that case you need to know how to convert these quantities into angles or they can also give you a pie chart and they tell you to get the corresponding quantity so you have to know how to change from angles to quantities so in that case we are, we are going to look at some formulas which can help us to find to convert so if you're converting, if you are given quantities and you want to get the angle, the corresponding angles of each sector, you use the formula that angle over sector in degrees is equal to corresponding quantity over sum of all quantities multiplied by 360 degrees. For example, in this table, if I want to draw a pie chart and I want to get the, the angle for food, which represent, which would, the angle which will represent food, it means that I have to get 35,000 divided by the sum which will be 35,000 plus 12,000 plus 10,000 plus 15,000 then after that I'll multiply by 360 degrees in that I will have got the angle which corresponds to the amount of food similarly to rent transport and others so what you should realize is that at the end the total must be equal to 360 degrees on the other hand, if I'm given the ang the pie chart and I'm told to get the corresponding quantities, I'll just interchange. In other words, I'll make this quantity the subject to come up with quantity of an item being equal to corresponding angle of sector over 360 degrees multiplied by the sum of all quantities. So these two formulas are very vital in this topic of pie chart because we shall be using them more more frequently. So now we shall look at examples because we have now already seen the formulas which we shall be using. So example 1 came from your name, 1998 paper 1 question 6 and it says a family, ex a family spends its income on the following items in a certain month. So this is the item and this is the amounts, amount spent. So food it is 35,000, rent is 12,000, transport is 10,000 and others is 15,000. Then they say that the question is that show the family's expenditure on a 
by each other. Then we can say that now they have given us quantities and we have to get the corresponding angles before we draw the pi chart. So you have to remember the first thing to do is to get the total expenditure. So total expenditure will be 35,000 plus 12,000 plus 20,000 plus 15 to come up with 72,000 as you can see here. So you have to add this, this, this and that to come up with the total expenditure. Now after that it means that to get the angle for corresponding to food I have to get 35,000 over the total which is 72,000 multiplied by 360. So let's do that. So expenditure on food will be 35,000 over 72,000 multiplied by 360 to come up with 175 degrees. Do the same for do the same for rent. Rent is 12,000, so you shall come here and say that expenditure on rent will be 12,000 over 72,000 multiplied by 360 to come up with 60 degrees. Then we shall go to the next, which is transport. Transport is 10,000, so you shall come and say expansion transport will be 10,000 over 72,000 times 360 to come up with 50 degrees and lastly there is others which is 15,000 so shall come and say that expenditure on others will be 15,000 over 72,000 multiplied by 360 to come up with 72 degrees so you realize that when you add 175 plus 60 plus 50 plus 75 it must add up to 3 60. So it, if it doesn't add up to 360, it implies that there is a problem somewhere in the working. So now that you have got the angles, angle for food, angle corresponding to rent, angle corresponding to transport, and angle corresponding to others, we shall now come be able to draw our pie chart. So for you to draw a pie chart, you have to first locate a center where you shall draw your circle from and after that you use a compass to draw a circle big enough to make everything visible. So after that we are going to draw a horizontal line which will be our starting point. So with that line we are going to start drawing our angles. So we are going to draw an angle of 175 degrees and that will be corresponding to food. So we shall come here and say using a protractor we shall be able to draw our angle of 175 degrees and that will be for food. Next we shall now draw an angle of 60 degrees and that will be an angle corresponding to rent. So 60 degrees you start from this line to draw 60 degrees and that will be your 60 degrees and to be corresponding to rent. The next is transport and transport is 50 degrees so you come here where this rent stopped and add on 50 degrees to make it transport. Now the rest they told us that the remaining angle will now be for others so that means that we shall come here and say that angle remaining is 75 degrees and it is for others. So basically that is how they draw a pie chart. Now let's see how marks can be awarded. So for this slide, B1 is for getting the total, and B1 is for these first two, another B1 is for this other two. That is for that slide, then when you go to the next slide, it will be B B1 for all correct. So everything has to be correct, correct angles and correct labeling. So that has been example one. Now let's go to example two. So example two came from UNEP 2016, paper one, question two. And it says, a pie chart below shows the various clubs at f that 40 students belong to. So the total number of students is 40. Determine the number of students in the wildlife club. So I think we realize that now drama is 135, debating is 45 degrees, then scripture union is 108 degrees but the angle for wildlife is not given so what you have to remember you have to remember that the total 
the total of all the angles in the pie chart must add up to 360 degrees. So what we are going to do, we are going to s get 360 degrees minus the whole of this. So that we can, the remaining angle will now be the angle for wild life. So when we do that, So when we say 360 minus 108 plus, we have, remember to use the brackets, so 108 plus 45 plus 135, you come up with 360 minus 288, which will give you 72 degrees. So that has that is now the angle which corresponds to wild life. So now that we've got the angle which corresponds to wild life, and we know the total number of students, we can come and say, that the number of students in wildlife will be 72 over 360 degrees multiplied by 40, which is the number. Remember we said, if you want to get the quantity, it will be equal to the angle of that sector over 360 degrees multiplied by the sum of all the quantities. So in this case, the sum of all the quantities is 40 and the angle corresponding to that sector for wildlife, you have got it as 72. So that means I shall use the formula that angle corresponding to that sector over the 360 to give you multiply by the sum of all the quantities and when you do that we shall come up with eight students and that's what they wanted so now let's see how much can be awarded so m1 is for this and b1 is for getting the angle m1 is for this and a1 is for getting the number of students which they want so now we shall go to example 3. Example 3 says the pie chart below represents the number of students who attend various courses in a commercial college. If the number of students studying accountancy is 120, so know that word, this one is, we have got the number of students for accountancy which is 120, then determine the number of students, then determine the students population of the college. So 120 students correspond to 150 degrees and in part A they want the total population of the students in the college. So what we are going to do is say that let X denote the students population of the college. What does that mean? It means that the population for accountancy will be 150 degrees, which is the sec angle of that sector over the total which is angle, which is 360, multiplied by the total number, total sum of the quantities, which is x, will be will give you the number, the quantity corresponding to that sector. I think you remember that formula. So what we are going to do, we are going to make x the subject. So when you make x the subject, we shall do it by cross multiplying. So this 360 will go the other side to come up with 150x equal to 120 multiplied by 360 and when we make x the subject we shall come up with 288 students so that is the total population of the students in the college so part b they want us to find the number of students who study marketing i think we realize that here the angle for marketing we don't have it but we have to remember what we know is that the total of all the angles must add up to 360 degrees so what we are going to do we are going to first get the sum of 50 40 and 150 all that we shall say subtract that sum from 360 to get the remaining angle which will be for marketing So you say that quantity for marketing in degrees will be equal to 360 minus open brackets 40 plus 50 plus 150 to come up with 360 minus 240 which is equal to 120. That means that the angle corresponding to marketing is 120. So now that we know the angle corresponding to marketing and we know the total students population, we can get the number of students for marketing. So you come and say that number of students for marketing will be equal to 120 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied by the total which is 288 and when I use the calculator I'll come up with 96 students. So basically that's what they wanted in part A and part B. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 is for this and a1 is for you to make extra subject then m1 is for this and a1 is for you to get the number of students which they 
one so basically that's how the formats would come about so that brings us to the end of this lesson thank you for watching and what i'm going to do i'm going to leave you with a set of questions still on pie chart to text yourself and check your progress So that brings us to the end of this video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with a set of questions still on pie chart so that you can check yourself on what you have learned today and be able to check your progress. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video with the solutions has been uploaded. Also, if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit as a family.